this is the island of Salamina, where the ancient Greeks saved Western civilization with victory in arguably the most important naval battle of all time. But today, much of the Greek merchant fleet is finding it impossible to defeat the world financial crisis and is sheltering in the straits. These are the definitive images of international recession, ships riding at anchor or heading back to base for the very simple reason that they have no goods to carry. It wasn't so long ago that charter rates were sky high and ship owners were making a fortune, but now the cash flow has dried up. And what this means is that ship owners are not going ahead with purchases of new vessels. They'd rather give away the deposit than proceed with construction. George Gratzos is president of the Greek Chamber of Shipping, which represents some of this country's wealthiest and most powerful entrepreneurs. Normally, in periods of crisis, Greek ship owners prosper, but not this time. It's, for the moment, pretty near catastrophic. Last May, to go from uh, the Atlantic to the uh, Pacific with iron ore via Brazil, uh, you could probably get about $235,000 a day, and I think right now you can probably get about three, <laughs> something like that. So uh, it, it's very, very bad. Class warriors might gloat at the plight of the shipping magnates, but Greece cannot afford for them to go under. Shipping is this country's biggest foreign currency owner. It also generates a quarter of a million jobs. The vast majority uh, know their business or their work very well and they're very efficient operators. But if you're looking at the core uh, knowledge and ability of the various companies, it's extremely good over here. So I would sincerely hope that uh, 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 all of us come through this alive. There may be casualties, but you know, that is inevitable. What ship owners are really hoping for is that governments will spend, spend, spend to kickstart the world economy. If that happens, these vessels will start steaming and their owners will start earning again. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Salamina.